everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome to my living room. So I'm going to do my Halloween haul video. So you'll have seen on Sunday I went to all the shops to get all different things. So I'm going to show you what I bought from each shop. Feeling the Halloween vibes. I've got my Stranger Things hoodie on. A little headband. It makes a change from the mini ears. Before I get started on everything that I bought, I had a look in the cupboard and I actually had quite a few things from last year. First, I've got this pumpkin. Well, I'm not sure if it'll still work. Yeah, I don't think the light in it works anymore. I might just still put it out because it's kind of spooky. So yeah, pumpkin. And then next, I found this little hanging ghost. I just hung him outside the front door last year. So I'll probably just do the same with him again this year. I can't remember where I bought these last year, I think. I think it was maybe Asda. Next up, I've got some skeleton lights. Um, they were just white LED lights. Last year I hung these around the window, the bay window in the living room. Two boxes of those. Then lastly, I just had this spider web. So I'll probably just put that up again as well. And that's all I had left from last year. I thought I had a bit more, but I don't know what's happened to it. So I'll move on to B&M. So the first thing that I bought in B&M was this pumpkin. It's kind of like ceramic and you can put a tea light in, in, in the back. And then I realised I didn't have any tea lights in my house. So I'm going to have to go buy some tea lights. Unless my mum's watching because she always has a big stash. So mum, if you can give us some of those, that'd be great. I just thought he was quite cool. Nice wee face sitting at the front door. You can go beside this one. They can be pals. The next thing I bought from B&M was just these little lanterns. So the first one was the purple one with the little pumpkin and then the same but in orange. I just thought those were quite cool. They could go like on either side of the TV or something. So that's them turned on. And that's all I bought from B&M. Now B&M actually did have quite good stuff. Like if you had kids and you were having a party or something then they did have quite good decorations. Um, but none of the kind of stuff that I was really looking for. So that's when I went down to Kirkcaldy to One Below, which I thought was Poundland and it totally wasn't. I picked up these pumpkin push lights. I'm not really sure what they'll look like, I've not opened them yet. Um, and they need batteries which aren't included so I'm going to have to find some of them somewhere but they're only 79 pence so I thought you probably can't go wrong with that. Pumpkin carving set. We don't know what design we're going to do in our pumpkin this year. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen the ones we've done the last few years. We do a Disney pumpkin each year, so looking for suggestions on Disney characters to try and do this year. I was thinking Baby Yoda, but if you've got any better ideas, let me know. And lastly from one below, I just got this little silver balloon. It says Boo. I thought that would be quite cool, like in the window. Um, so you could see it from outside on the street. That was it for one below. Then next I went into Sainsbury's as you guys seen and I thought I was going to find lots of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff which I didn't. So I was kind of gutted about that but I did pick up pumpkin string lights. Yeah, there's quite a few and again these are battery operated so I need to find some batteries. So that was me and then I thought I would go to Tesco and then I was on the road driving to Dunfermline and I thought, you know what, I really want this candle because I've seen it in Laura and Dane's vlog over at Rip Ride Vlog It. Their channel will be linked below. They had seen the bleeding candle in Poundland and that's how I went to Kirkcaldy in the first place. And then when it was one below, they didn't have the candle. Go to Dunfermline to Poundland to get this candle. And that's where... I went a little crazy. The first thing that I got was the bleeding candle. I found it. It's like a little skull. I can't wait to burn it and see what it's like. So I'll burn it so that I can put some footage in here. I'm not sure I'd call this bleeding. It is kind of falling out of his eyes though. I mean, it does look kind of creepy. For a pound, what was I expecting, eh? I'm sorry if I'm in a slightly different position, my camera just cut out because I had to delete some footage to make room on the memory card. So if I'm in a slightly different place, that's why. So I got my bleeding candle 
that I was all over the place for so next up I bought this it is a projector and it cost a pound obviously from a pound land and this we already put batteries in this so I'll show you what it's like but yeah it's got like it says happy halloween it's got a spider a ghost a bat a pumpkin a witch's hat a little cat i think i might put that over on that little table and then it'll reflect off of that wall and that wall next i bought a couple of candle holder tea light holders so i got the little spooky guy i just think there's something there's just something about this space it's quite spooky maybe on the windowsill or something um, and then it's got like holes in his head so that the light will come out. Next candle holder I got is just a mini pumpkin. Just thought they would go quite well together like either side of the window. Then I seen another candle just what I need. So it's a little cauldron and it is blood orange and pumpkin scent and it smells quite strong, like, without burning it. I'm not sure what it'll be like when I burn it. I mean, it was only a pound, so don't expect it to be Yankee Candle standard or something. But it smells quite good. And, of course, my little ghosts that I was looking for. There was only one, and I thought I had more in the house, but I don't. But I'll just turn them on. So he changes colour. I'm not sure how well that's... Yeah, they're green, blue... Purple. So I just again I thought he could maybe go like on the TV stand. Next up I bought oh you could probably hear him. I bought this little crow. There we go. He stopped. He's motion activated, so I don't really know how to get him to shut up to be honest. But yeah, he's just like a little crow and he's got a wee clip so you can like clip him on somewhere. And then he just cause all the time. Maybe if I stay really still. I'll just put him down there so that he can't see. Next I just got some LED string lights. They're 8 metres. Now that seems pretty long. He's still calling. I don't know where I'm going to put these. I have not put much thought to where I'm going to put stuff, to be honest. You done? You done, hun? Yep. No. <gasps> Next, I bought tinsel. Halloween tinsel. Just got a little, like, pumpkins and stuff. It's quite cool. I was thinking about putting this like in front of the TV, like along the TV unit and then having the little ghost and lights like at either side. And then our wreath. Now as I mentioned in the last vlog, we are decorating our hall. We're putting all new doors on, but the old doors have hooks that we can't get off. So I'm thinking this is probably my last chance to use the hooks. So I'm going to hook my wreath on there. And I think that's really cute. Last couple of bits now. I got this little eyeball lantern so he just lights up as well like a little ghosty so I might put the ghost at one side and the eyeball at the other side and then I got the pumpkin teeth Jenny actually texted me saying you better have got those pumpkin teeth so Jenny I got the pumpkin teeth I just think this is a great idea it saves so much hassle trying to cut teeth out of the pumpkin you can just cut the whole mouth and stick these in like I think this is genius whoever came up with this needs a medal well I did buy another couple of things just because I normally make up a bag for my niece and nephew obviously you've met Layla and Jackson on the previous videos and um, basically I just got a spider and a pumpkin um, Jackson certified spider so being the great auntie I am got him a spider and Layla's got a pumpkin. So that's my haul for Halloween. I got so many good things. I'm just very glad that I got my candle. So thanks very much for watching and if you've liked this video please subscribe and like and comment and share it with your Halloween loving friends. 
I'll do a Christmas version of this because let's face it, any excuse to go shopping and that's fine with me. I'll see you on Sunday with a new video. It's actually going to be the pumpkin patch video because we're going there on Friday. I'm super excited. So that vlog will be coming to you on Sunday. See you then. Bye.